It's been nearly two months since we got the shocking news that Jamie Foxx, who's considered by so many to be one of the most talented people in the entertainment industry, when you look at what he's done on TV, in movies, and of course his musical career, he was rushed to the hospital, an emergency where it looked like he might not make it, where he might not survive. It was grave for Jamie Foxx, but survive he did. However, what happened to him and his current status is relatively unknown right now. And now we're getting some very shocking reports of what may be happening with Jamie Foxx that are completely conflicting with what his PR team and his family have put out there. But if there's any validity to this at all, it's extremely scary. But when you start to connect these pieces, it's made making everyone wonder, after almost two months since this happened, what is the actual status of Jamie Foxx? Now, this is what his family has been saying. Jamie Foxx recovery progress surprises everyone. Insider shares details that according to the family and insiders, he's doing so well. He's making a lot of progress, but we haven't seen any pictures. We haven't seen anything like that. It's very, very strange. Well, this is the news that came out today. And again, this is from one source. This is someone who's like, a, a, like an entertainment gossip guy, gossip news guy. But this is the news. Health shocker. Jamie Foxx left paralyzed and blind from blood clot in his brain after receiving the COVID vaccine source claims. Now, again, I'm going to strongly say this is just according to this source, and we are going to hear it. We're going to hear this person. We're going to hear exactly what he said, what this report is. But if obviously, people are very, very concerned about Jamie Foxx considering he went through this big medical thing and we have had no information. Now, you would expect, of course, the family wants privacy. Of course, he wants privacy. Yeah, but when you're a public figure like Jamie Foxx, the fact that we haven't really had any true update other than the family just saying he's doing great and his daughter saying, you know, all the media lies. He's out here playing pickleball today. If he's out there playing pickleball, it's really weird that we haven't seen anything else from Jamie Foxx. Nonetheless, let's dive into this. There's a lot of people out there that are worried about this, especially if, according to this report, he was made to take the jab for a Hollywood movie production. Maybe that's why so many people want to keep this quiet. But again, all we can do is look at these reports. Horrific health details have been revealed regarding Jamie Foxx's mysterious medical state. The Django, Un the Django Unchained star is said to be partially paralyzed and blind in addition to a series of other complications after the vaccine, Hollywood journalist A.J. Benza claimed after speaking to a source close to Foxx. We're going to just listen to this. This is the report that's come out. This is where all of this is from. Jeez. I think that this ties into the Jamie Foxx theory. I've, I worked my butt off to get a story about why what happened to Jamie Foxx. Because it was all baloney what they were reporting. He's playing pickleball. He's uh, responding on Instagram. No, he's not. People do that for you. It's all lies. I had somebody in the room who let me know that Jamie had a blood clot in his brain after he got the shot. He did not want the shot, but the movie he was on – he was pressured to get it. This movie he's doing with Cameron Diaz. Now, this has been something in the entertainment industry. We saw actors lose their jobs because they refused to get it. We saw people fold and get it just because they wanted to keep jobs and do things. We did see that. We saw that all across the country, all across the world, not just in the entertainment industry. This goes way bigger than that, but obviously this is focused on Hollywood. We did see a lot of that in the entertainment industry during COVID and during productions for all these things. And I'm thinking, is that why he blew up on the set a week before this medical emergency happened? Is that why he fired three or four people because he just had had it with these mandates? I don't know. But what I found out from the man in the room was that uh, the blood clot in the brain caused him at that point to be partially paralyzed and blind. Because if you read into what they were saying early on, he's communicating with us. That doesn't mean talking. That could be anything. It could be, you know, writing, yeah. sign. You know, I know those little code words. And then when you tell me your father's playing pickleball, give me a break. Now, obviously, it's just A.J. Benza so far, this guy, this reporter who has said this stuff. He's the only source that we have for it, but this is the news that's out there. Ironically, it does sound similar to something that Mike Tyson said 11 days ago on the Valuetainment podcast with Patrick Bet David. Um, this kind of went viral uh, two weeks ago. Listen to what he said. Are you following what's going on with uh, Jamie Foxx? He's not feeling well. Something's going on with Yeah, they said stroke. I had no idea what happened to him. Yeah. Hey, listen, we can't anticipate our next breath. We don't know when we're going to die. 
Now, when he's talking about a stroke, obviously, strokes can be caused by blood clots in your brain, blockage of flow in your brain. That's how it happens. So there's a lot to think about and go over and what that could mean for Hollywood and everything. Obviously, there's going to be a lot of people that see this and feel very vindicated about so many of the things that people have said for years and years and years. At the end of the day, no one should have been forced to take anything, in my opinion, to keep their jobs. I think that's terrible. And I think people did get harmed from that. Certainly, this is just a report that is out there. The To be clear, the family and the PR representatives have continued to say other things, have continued to say, no, he's progressing, he's doing great, blah, blah, blah. Uh, but obviously there's conflicting reports out there about Jamie Foxx. One thing is for sure, people are really fucking concerned for him. But if this is true, if all of this is true, that it was because of the shot that he didn't want to do it, all of this stuff, if all this is true, there might be a reason why everyone's trying to keep it so quiet. I have no idea what's going on with Jamie Foxx. All I can tell is what's going on with these reports, and this is certainly a concerning one. We'll see what happens going forward. We'll see if we get any confirmation on this. Something is going on with Jamie Foxx. I think everybody probably wants him to get better and wants him to be in the best shape possible, but they also want to understand what happened to him for good reason. What do you guys think about this? This is an insane story, and if all this is true, then people are going to be pointing a lot of fingers at the people who claimed everybody needs to get this, everybody needs to get this, everybody needs to get this, and fired people if they didn't get that shot. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comment section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.